Hi, Dave Jecker, Superintendent of Fokker Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, two things that have come up here recently that you probably will be interested in. Uh, one, our graduation dates. We received uh, uh, some correspondence relative to the posting graduation dates. And what we've done the last couple of years is we've sent out tentative dates in the fall, namely at the end of September, and then we, we sure up the dates in February, and so they become official in February. So, and the reason we do that is two, uh, twofold. One is weather, uh, just in the event that something crazy happens with the weather between September and February, that could impact the graduation dates, that's factored in. And then the avail availability of Jiffy Lube Live, which is where Liberty High School has their graduation. They give us a great deal, or they give Liberty High School a great deal, but it's contingent on uh, Lib uh, Jiffy Lube Live not being booked for an, uh, uh, by performer or something else during the same time. Uh, so there you go. The date, the tentative dates at this point are Southeastern Alternative is May 21st. Fauquier High School is May 23rd. Liberty High School is May 24th. Again, that's out Jeffy Lube Live. And then Kettle Run High School, May 25th. Um, next is the middle school modernization project and, and sort of the status of that. And I'll just give you the the, the, the very quick synopsized version. There is a blog post about this uh, on, a, on our webpage under under Office of Superintendent. You can read more specifically about it there. But essentially, what's happened is the Board of Supervisors sent a letter to the school board saying that they would authorize uh, 27.5 million dollars in bond funding plus another 5.5 in cash, and that cash would come from both the schools and the county for a total of 33 million dollars or a middle school modernization project and then included in the same letter was several contingencies that the school that the board of supervisors included that include um, requirements like um, if you know if we give you this bond funded money that you might you know you must use it to uh, renovate warrant to middle school and uh, in the event for example that southeastern the southeastern property is sold and southeastern alternative school is relocated that uh, that the sale of that um, the money from that sale would be allocated towards the debt service on the bond. So there were several requisites like that included. The school board responded in a couple different ways on this past Monday. One, they were grateful for the twenty seven point five million dollars in bond funding, um, but they of course objected to the the conditions that were included in the letter from the Board of Supervisors and they pointed out that you know according to Code of Virginia the, the, the school board is ultimately responsible for you know all aspects of governance uh, construction curriculum etc all those things related to to our public schools uh, and, and that would um, theoretically include school construction there's a much more specific ruling or opinion by the from the Attorney General's office that stated that uh, when it comes to school consolidation that that is a 100% uh, the responsibility and, and, and in the bailiwick of the school division and should not be infringed upon by the Board of Supervisors. So that was kind of the, the, the response back to the Board of Supervisors and um, that's going to be stated in a letter form but yet to be um, distributed letter uh, from our board to the board of supervisors uh, but that's the long and short of it that's kind of where we are so we're at another kind of standstill point at this at this juncture and uh, we'll we'll see what happens we're going to maintain a positive attitude and we're going to try to work this thing out uh, with the board of supervisors and uh, with our with our board and ultimately do what we feel is in the best interest of uh, of our students so hope this has been helpful to you and have a great rest of the week thanks